What's up, guys? <clears throat> Sorry uh, about the voice. I'm a little under the weather right now. I'm a little sick, but um, we're still going to go ahead and continue with this video. So some pretty interesting news uh, broke out today that Luis King Kong Ortiz has now signed with uh, PBC Al Heyman. Now, you guys know that he was previously with um, Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. He, uh, he uh, paid his contract or... He bought off his contract. He paid it off, <clears throat> and then he uh, he went with uh, Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing, where I <coughs> I believe he got uh, two fights, and now he's with Al Heyman. And this is good news, honestly, because um, honestly, after um, he left Golden Boy Promotions, I think he should have just immediately signed with PBC Al Heyman to have a uh, a lot of heavyweights that he could fight. But um, my main concern is my main concern is his age because he, um, he's 38 today, and I feel like if he he's gonna face Joshua or the Klitschko winner Deontay Wilder or the uh, WBO champ Parker, he needs to do he needs to do it now before uh, age catches up to him. <coughs> and in my opinion, he uh, he is a serious threat to all the champions. And most likely the easiest fight right now to make would be Deontay Wilder since they are both working with the uh, PBC. But the WBA has ordered uh, the winner of Joshua Klitschko to uh, face Ortiz. So that could be another fight. Or they could also have, you know, there's other fights out there for him. And he is scheduled to fight on the Porter versus Birdo undercard. So that should be a good um, fight, you know. Uh, a little stepping stone in my opinion for uh, King Kong Ortiz but man this is good news I guess um, PBC is definitely gonna uh, showcase him more in my opinion than Golden Boy or Matchroom would and he's gonna be in more higher profile f uh, fights in my opinion and probably bigger paydays so uh, good news for King Kong Ortiz hopefully he does well and hopefully we get to see um, him fight Deontay Wilder peace